So it's a good stop right there, and all that gap is filled all the way around. So there's gonna be no drafts getting in in the winter time. We're gonna be making the door for the chicken coop, greenhouse, whatever you're gonna be using it for today. The door opening is 68 feet. The door opening is 68 feet tall. Yeah, I wish. Whew. No, the door opening is 68 inches tall by 36 inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the door 67 inches tall by 35. I'm gonna give myself a half inch gap on each end. That way, frost lifting it up or binding it. It's a little windy, guys, so I hope that's not interfering with the audio on today's video. What I'm gonna be using to make my door, they're five and three quarter inches wide and they're 72 inches long, five eighths thick. These are dog ear fence pickets, they're calling them. The reason why they're pressure treated, the reason why I'm using these is when I was at the local hardware store yesterday, they had them on sale for a buck. So I figured, how can you beat that? I got eight of them, cost me eight bucks in lumber to make the door. Can't go wrong. If I used regular pine, it costs a lot more than that. So just go ahead and use whatever you can find. The wider, the better. I'd say four to five inches wide would be best. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by marking the first two at 67 inches long. Go ahead and cut them. Then for the top and bottom cross rails, I'm gonna need two of them at 23 and 5 eighths, and I'll actually do a center cross rail, so I'm gonna need three of them at 23 and 5 eighths. So once you have your three top, bottom, and center rails all cut up, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and find a flat spot to assemble this. I was gonna do it in my driveway. My driveway is gravel, so it was a little uneven. I'm gonna take you guys inside. We're gonna do it on the concrete basement floor. So if it's a little dark, that's why. Basement's a little messy. And having a lot of outside projects to do lately. We haven't been able to keep up, or I haven't had a chance to keep up on keeping everything picked up. So now you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and mark the center point on your two up and down on the two 67 inch long pieces. So it's gonna be 33 and a half. Then your center rail, you're gonna do the same thing for, find center on it and mark it. We're gonna have five and three quarters, so it's gonna be two and five eighths. Then what I do to hold all these, all these pieces together while I'm putting the fencing on it, I just use galvanized poultry netting staples. Just try to center it over the two boards. It's not perfect, but it does the trick. So once you have all your staples in, your joints, holding it all together, I just put the staples in to hold it together so when I'm putting on my wire, I don't gotta worry about it moving around on me. What I'm using is I got a 10 foot roll of half inch by one inch rabbit cage wire basically. I'm using this because I have it kicking around. Um, you can use your chicken wire or whatever you have. I have chicken wire but it's 36 inches wide. This is 30, so it's gonna fit and my door a lot easier. Now we just had barely enough plastic the greenhouse when we put it together yesterday. I have some leftover pieces of plastic. They're not quite long enough. So I'm just going to use two pieces, basically splice it in the middle where well, you're not going to see it anyways. There's extra. I'm going to fold it over in the center 
where the cross center piece is going to go and on the bottom. Once your door is all put together, you're just going to want to go ahead and measure how wide it is. I have 35 and 3 16 on mine. Now you're just going to need some inch and a quarter long screws. Take your square, put it on one end, flush your ends. If you want, use a square. Make sure you're straight all the way across. And then just start screwing it. Once you get your three rails in, you just want to go ahead and measure the four uprights. Once you have your four uprights cut, you just want to go ahead and put them in place and do the same thing we did as the cross sections. I know it's kind of a theme of mine, but there's an abundance everywhere. It's a, I mean, it's, I'm standing on apples right now. I haven't had time to pick up to get the pigs, but this might look like a big overgrown apple tree. I haven't had time to clean it up, but it's an abundance everywhere that we can make something out of. So when God gives you a lemon, let's make some lemonade. Now that we got this door all assembled, we're going to need a couple of door handles. Let's see what we can make out of this here. Best way I found to mount a hinge to make sure it's square in your door is just to fold it over on the edge of the door, hold it in place, pick the height you want. Set my door in place while I'm screwing it in place. I just went and I hit put 5 8 thick scrap wood on the bottom. It'll give me a little bit more than my half inch gap. Then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to eyeball the sides and try to get it as square in the hole as I can. And then I'm just going to use two inch long screws to screw the hinges to the greenhouse. Now we just gotta determine the height of our door handles. For that, we need our assistant. Olivia! I need your help. Okay. So since this is a kid-friendly chicken coop, I wanna know what height works best for her for the door pole. So where should I stick the door pole? To open the door. You gonna to wanna to reach up that high to pull it? Now let's just pick the height of the handle. We're gonna go ahead, screw at the bottom from the front side. All right, so as you can see, I went around with the one inch thick, one and a half inches wide pine here all the way around the door. And the reason for that is now when I shut it, I gotta stop the door, I can't go in. And also, so it's a good stop right there and all that gap is filled all the way around so there's gonna be no drafts getting in in the winter time and no little critters snakes or mice can get through those holes so if that's not making lemonade from lemon i don't know what is i think that's pretty nice door handle we got that one and then we also have this one on the inside pretty solid door it's not going anywhere it should last a while I put two latches on, one on the bottom, one on the top. You don't gotta worry about anything getting in. I'll put a latch on the inside so when I go in, shut the door behind me, I can latch it and I don't gotta worry about the chickens getting out.